This modification is a little bit time consuming, but I think it's well worth the time and the money. It more or less involves is cutting a 444 ratio automatic transmission output shaft and mating it to a 39 or 411 5 MT Subaru output shaft so you can get the lower gear ratio. The differential you have to remove, it's kind of easier for me, it was easier for me just to cut the case to pull the differential out. The output shaft of the automatic, just a few bolts in it just pretty much popped out, it wasn't that really a big of a deal. Now it comes to the output shafts. The standard shafts on top, the automatics on the bottom, it's definitely longer. That's another picture of it, the uh, shafts there. There we go. Now the lower shafts, the automatic, and you can see that it's definitely different. It'll have to be welded up and then cut back down to size to, to match the standard shaft. Now, I did have a problem when I kept trying to cut it with a lathe. It was just way too hard, so I had to anneal it a little bit just to uh, soften the weld up because generally welds pretty hard stuff to machine, nearly impossible. Right about there is where I ended up cutting the shaft. The standard shaft has an oil passage and after you weld the two uh, automatic and the standard shaft together you'll have to re-drill it to uh, continue the passage through it. That there is pretty much finished machine. The automatics on the left, standards on the right. Now what I did here was I cut the two shafts and I cut them in such a way that when I chucked them up in the uh, lathe that there was actually it centered itself. I cut one at a 45 and I cut the other one shaft at a 45 and in a reverse 45 so it centered them exactly when I went to weld them up. On the left is the finished 444 uh, five-speed output shaft. Now the ring gear 444 I had to shave an eighth of an inch off so the differential would center was more centered in the five-speed housing. Mm. If you've ever set up a ring and a pinion before, great. If you haven't done it before, you should probably get some help because they can get tricky. If you don't have a setup right, you're going to tear that transmission out pretty quick. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much a straightforward mod. Uh, you will need to pick up a 444 rear end, so your differential and your transmission and your rear differential do match. You can do this mod if you want a little quicker out of the hole times or just a, a little closer gear shifting pattern, but it's definitely a cost effective mod compared to the alternatives. Hopefully, I helped some people out. Have a nice one.